Welcome to our adventure class. Hello everyone, welcome to Dubrovnik, Croatia. Hi, we are uh, excited about doing this video because it's been a while since we put one out. So I hope you enjoy our introduction to Dubrovnik. So we got here a couple of days ago. Travel day was a bit hectic. We left Budapest on Wednesday around 12.30. Had a four hour bus ride to Zagreb, which included a one hour border crossing, which never had a European border crossing out of the Schengen zone, so that was kind of interesting. You're going into a non-Schengen area, you have to go through passport control, but doing it on the bus was a little bit more involved, I guess. And yeah, and then got into Zagreb, had about four hours for a dinner. Holy crap, <laughs> these are freaking huge. And, uh, and then took a nine hour overnight bus from Zagreb to here, which was really taxing. Now, the good thing is, if you ever have the chance, when you're on those overnight buses, if there's a two levels, look at the bottom level. If you do get on the bottom of the bus, they have certain seats that do face forward and back with a table in between. Take those seats, face forward of course, but take those seats because the leg room in that was so much better than the seats, the regular seats. I would not have been comfortable at all sitting in those regular seats. They were way too tight. This way I was able to put my feet on the seat on the other side and it was awesome. Right. Definitely amazing. Definitely right. recommend that if you are on one of those buses that do have those, uh, sit in those ones. Because there was maybe 20 seats in the section we were sitting in and there was only four of us sitting in that section. So it was almost like a private cabin, which was yeah. pretty cool. Yes, a lot of people do take the upper level because they think that you can see more, but it's an overnight bus anyways. So you're gonna be sleeping. The only thing that I would say is don't sit facing the back of the bus. Make sure you're facing forward the way the bus is moving. We happen to sit facing the back of the bus and that was quite an experience for us afterwards. Yeah, a bit of motion sickness uh, yeah. to get used to afterwards. Yeah, so this is a little bit why too there's a delay in this video. Not feeling too well after that bus ride because of sitting the way that we did. So, a couple of days to recover. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And other than that, the bus ride was uneventful. We did have a gentleman that sat beside us and he was a smoker. And every time the bus would do these periodic stops, he would get off and do his smoke break and come back on. Well, one stop, he never came back on. And we were like, okay, where's Stuff the guy? Stuff was still here, and, charger was still here. Yeah, so we went and told the bus driver that the gentleman didn't come back on. And he said, oh, well, you know, you snooze, you lose. 20 minutes, he was so more than 20 minutes. We traveled on and when we got to split. Three hours later. He boarded the bus and we were like, oh my God, buddy. Like we were so concerned and worried about you. And he's like, oh yeah, I hitchhiked and got to here. And so now he's back on the bus. Lucky for him, he was able to get himself back on the bus. And we were happy because we did feel cool for him because it's the middle of the night. And just incredible that he was able to get back on the yeah, bus. Yeah, yeah, we were just so surprised. So that was our bus ride. Yeah. Dubrovnik is nothing like any of the other countries we've been to. We've already noticed that as soon as we arrived. We are excited about showing you guys Dubrovnik and what it does offer. But to start off, we're gonna do our room tour. We are here in a town called Lapid, which is just maybe three kilometers outside of Old Town. As you know, we always go a little bit outside of the main tourist area, so that's where we are here. Have a look around the living room. As soon as you enter, we have a little doggy statue there, which is nice. Every time you come in and leave, we've got him to look at. Anyways, it's a nice cozy living room area. You can see we've got a couch and a coffee table there. It's pretty open space. And then directly from there, you'll see our two-piece dinette set. And I like the canoe that's above it. And then we've got the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen's fully stocked. It does have an oven, yay! I can finally make some oven dishes, not just a stove top, so it's perfect that way. There is a fridge and a freezer, there and a, a four burner stove top. There is a dishwasher also. This is the dishwasher here. Yeah, but it's fully equipped. It came with everything that we need. In this room is the bedroom. I like the brick background at the headboard there. I think that adds nice decor to it. And again, the sailboat. I do like all the prints that are throughout the house. So this is a cozy bedroom. Last 
is the uh, bathroom. So it is a shower um, sink, just a typical bathroom, lots of storage areas. And the washing machine is behind the door. That's our living space for the month. Hope you enjoyed that room tour. The room we're very happy with. We are already settled in. We already feel like we're at home. We do feel it's one of the best ones that we've been in so far. It's clean, it's comfortable. We totally feel at home. Yeah, and, and the neighborhood is fantastic. We've been here, we walked around the neighborhood, got really comfortable with it. So we're definitely enjoying it so far. Here's a sneak preview of what's to come. If you liked the video, please subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching.